really fast. I, I want to make this video because I want to really, uh, talk about a subject which has been kind of bothering me in recent times. I I recently posted an interview with uh, Yoshimitsu Bano, the uh, creator, uh, the producer and director of uh, Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster. And I've noticed a lot of negative comments about him, which is nothing new, but you know, just just that it's always bothered me. Uh, you know, I the first movie that got that, that made me want to, uh, you know, that inspired me, that made me become a longtime fan of Godzilla, was Yoshimitsu Bano's Godzilla vs. Mob Monster, and you know. I know the, the, the story on, on, on the movie and people saying that he was banned uh, to never make another movie again, which, you know, it, it's just like silly stuff that now that I believe it's just being blown out of proportion the way it shouldn't be because God, the Godzilla we see now is thanks to Bano. It's thanks to Bano's persistence to want to create his Godzilla uh, 3D to the max. Uh, which became the movie that we that, that is coming out in May of 2014, and I do not understand. I mean, we need to thank this man also because it was because of him that led to this film. So I don't understand why he's receiving these negative comments, you know, by people that and, and also people that don't know nothing really about him. I mean, they 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 say. Well, you know, he's been trying to produce, the, make this film for such a long time. I heard about it several times. Well, in Hollywood, there's a lot of films that took forever to be made. That's nothing new. There's, there's nothing new. Some films that have never been made. There's, there's films out there that get canceled. It's, it's nothing new. And maybe it isn't the right time. Maybe it, it wasn't the right time. And also, we've got to keep in mind that... Final Wars was supposed to be Godzilla's final film. There weren't supposed to be any other film with Godzilla. And some people say, oh, that's not true because Godzilla showed up in this other movie and he made a cameo. Well, that's not a movie about Godzilla. You know, a movie is a movie. It's about the monster. He showed, he makes a cameo in a film. That film is not about, you know, and plus the movie wasn't even related to, to, to anything related to the monster. It was just a scene that showed him for a couple of minutes and that's it. It's always, it, it wasn't even about, you know, giant monsters really. So I don't get people saying things like this. Like this. And we, like I said before, we owe it to Bano. We owe it to Toho for allowing him. He got the rights to use Godzilla and because he got the rights and then Legendary and Warner Bros. got involved to distribute it, we have a film. So people should be praising the man for, you know, for his persistence to get this done, to have something, to, to bring something to the screen. We would have not had a film in, 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 in the 60th anniversary. I doubt it very much if it wasn't for, for my, I mean, this has been going on since he, he started in 2004, 2010, was when people really said, when, you know, somebody said, you know what, we need to do this. So, it's, it's you know, it, it just baffled me to see all this negative negativity towards him when he was the man, the, they had the vision, they had the, persi the, the persistence to keep trying to get this done, you know, and it happened. So, you know, I just, I, you know, uh, you know, talk about that. And, and also, I want to talk about another, another thing is that I find um, amazing is because I wanted to talk about what if, you know, which Godzilla becomes a major box office hit worldwide, what's going to happen next? And I started thinking... When Bano got the got the permission to use Godzilla, he also got permission to use uh, Hidora, the smart monster, uh, also. And it's interesting to see that um, some people, have, you know, said that this could have been a possibility that Hidora could have been part of the uh, of the new Godzilla movie. But I think you know what I'm thinking. I think that if if there's a success with the new Godzilla film in 2014, I think this would open the door to create. Hidora would be a great monster to be the next monster that Godzilla would, would battle in, in in the sequel in the next in, in the next installment of part two whatever they're gonna you know whatever if, if it happens and he is perfect because of now the of the pollution everything he would represent a formidable foe to the Godzilla because if we really think about it 
he was a formidable foe. He had powers and things that that you know a lot of the other monsters didn't have. I mean, he had multiple. He he was a shapeshifter. He had poisonous gas, poisonous liquids, sludge. I mean, waste, all kinds of stuff that you know he had. He had powers, laser beam from his eyes. So it, you know, acid. His acid. I think it was acid. Uh, uh, liquid acid or something, some acid, you know, just a lot of things that, that, that so much relate to what, what's, what's happening now in the world. And it wouldn't surprise me if Godzilla becomes a major box office success, that it might be once again, that Bono's, you know, creation will be also part of that. It wouldn't surprise me. And, you know, that's why I keep saying that we need to thank Bono. We need to, you know, not stop this negativity on on a person that created a film you know that you know this happened so many years ago he you know the man has created so many great things if, it, i mean if you research them boy you would you would see that it was not just about godzilla the guy uh, the, the you know the man is a is a visionary he's done things in japan that other people did not achieve because of him. There's certain things there. This happened in, in the cinematography and the way things are done. So, um, I just I, you know just I just want to educate people because I, I just think it's it's unfair that a person that brought us this this Godzilla film that brought it to life is getting all this negative flack by people when he doesn't deserve it. You know. So just my thought on that, and I just want to share that with you guys. And you know you know let me know what you think. You know. Leave a comment, uh, you know, sub us, you know, um, this channel was created for that reason, so, you know, I hope that, that you learned something from this, and, and I'll see you next time, this is Damien for University G, thanks for watching.